Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test, where we cover Stage 2, Trench Warfare of Finnish Brutality 2020. Now, we've been through Stage 1, and I was talking about how the uh, having real cars out there made a real realistic difference over your standard cardboard plywood cutout cars. Well, now it's time for Stage 2, wander over the uh, next bay, and what do we have before us? Yes, that's right, a T-55 tank. Last year, it was a BMP-1. This year, they upped the game, a T-55. And might I add, very impressive. I mean, I didn't think that they could do much better than a BMP, but I was clearly wrong. And the coolest thing about this, just like the BMP-1, I think this is the first T-55 I've ever seen intact. Seen a lot of them brewed up, seen a lot of them in pieces, but... Nah, never one in full working condition. Kind of a unique experience. Now, how does this stage run? Well, you start with one hand on the front glacius of the tank, your rifle ready to go in the other hand. At the sound of the start buzzer, at the end of the bay, there's three steel IPSC targets against the back backstop in a 1-2-3 uh, orientation. And what you had to do is on target one, one hit, target two, two hits, target three, one, so four hits total, so one, two, one, and then you move up, and they got this small little tunnel they com uh, completed out of uh, pallets and um, some camo netting, just enough to make you get down and crawl through, which when you got a severely pulled hamstring, yeah, that frickin' sucks. <laughs> and it's not a long tunnel, you know, it's about four feet long that you got to get through, just enough that you got to negotiate it. You get through, then you enter the trench at the designated entrance point that's marked. You get into the trench, and the same targets you engage from the tank starting point, you engage again in the same order. One, two, one. Four hits total. Dash out of the tent, uh, excuse me, dash out of the trench, and there's another little tunnel obstacles there. And you crawl through it, and then back into the trench, and engage. One, two, one. Clear the second trench, go through another little uh, tunnel scenario, into the third trench. And at that point, you get one, two, one, and you've completed the, the task. A pure run-and-gun stage. And that's what Zach did. He ran, and he gunned, and he had a great run. Me, not so much. Uh, the pulled hamstring was uh, in full swing here, and uh, you're going to hear lots of grunting and groaning and... Uh, painful comments on this one, so be forewarned. Uh, also, uh, the um, humidity combined with uh, wearing a face mask was just causing massive fogging problems. Uh, it's pretty hard to see when you got to look through foggy glasses, then through look through the scope on your rifle and find a target. It just doesn't happen sometimes, and you'll see a lot of me stopping and wiping off the condensation so I could get a few brief seconds of clear lens where I could make my target. Um, also, the pain is ca causing me to not focus as much as I should have, and, you know, I would take shots, miss a few, and then go, oh, yeah, here I have a rifle with a black label bipod on it, use the bipod dummy, and then I would, and then I'd start getting hits, and then I'd move, and I'd completely forget about using the bipod again. And in some points, the bipod didn't really work, because the sand was soft, and the legs are this long, and it would sink this far in. Um... Overall, not a super good stage, and very frustrating for me personally, because it was a run-and-gun stage, very similar to uh, the concept of the Desert Brutality Trench stages, and those were just a blast, and I really wanted to go full speed ahead in there, and the body just wasn't letting it happen. Now, take a look at my run here, and then after my run, once again, I'll put in Zach's run as he shows how it's supposed to be done. Are you ready? Ready. Good boy!
Are you ready? Yep. Start boy! Hit! 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 And there you have it, Zach showing it how it should be done. Uh, this was a great stage. I mean, a lot of effort went into putting a T-55 tank on it, having three trenches dug, having three small tunnel sets built and covered with camo netting, all just to add to the effect. I mean, the visual effect of this stage was just top freaking notch. And this is real-world practicality. You know, being around armored vehicles in and out of trenches, you know, this is real world stuff uh, and it's cool. It adds a great uh, element of realism to it and really enhances the training value you can get out of going to a competition like this. Hope you found this coverage helpful and informative. Please comment, like, and subscribe and tune in tomorrow for Stage 3.